Okay. Qualifying the eternal. Mitzvah need, so if uh, if somebody have question, that you can uh, for, for new people we have few new people who join us today for the first time. You can ask me. You can interrupt. There is no problem. So of course only on on the topic. After after the class, we you cannot ask, you can ask any questions, but during the class only on the topic that we learn. Please. Okay. Uh, so like sub paragraph qualifying the eternal. Mitzvah need no, mitzvahs need no explanation. Our sages teach, one who in, um, one who, in uh, referring to the mitzvah of uh, Shloch HaKen, the chasing away of the mother birds before taking the eggs, or a chick says, uh, even young birds merit your kindness. Uh, in, in silence. Okay. Mishnah Bura 5.3. Okay. So we, we have this uh, mitzvah, and it's uh, one of the mitzvahs that uh, that our Torah says um, um, describe what what reward the person is going to get. So another another mitzvah that uh, the Torah explicitly say well what reward is going to get is uh, uh, respect to the parents. So it's, it says that if you're going to respect your parents, mother and father, so the reward is going to be a long life. Okay. And, uh, and another mitzvah for which uh, Torah promises long life is uh, this taking uh, um, chicks or eggs from, from the nest and uh, uh, chasing away the, the mother bird. So, I mean, you, you put a ladder, you, uh, you climb somewhere, I don't know where, <laughs> right, and uh, chase the, away the, the mother birds, they take the eggs. So, of course, uh, many, m most of the people, especially if you do it in a city and you're doing it with the pigeons, of course, you, 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 you don't want to eat these eggs. Of course, they are harmful and uh, I don't know what, uh, what garbage these pigeons eat. Uh, okay. Um, so, but it's still a mitzvah. So, what, why, why for this small mitzvah such a big reward? I understand for... Uh, um, uh, for uh, respecting the, uh, the parents and if a parent, Bezos uh, Hashem, lives a long life and uh, and they're sick, you have to take them to the doctor, you have to like clean them, buy them food, like all of these uh, things, like then day in and day out without any vacation. And uh, it, it takes a lot of efforts. I understand why Torah said, okay, don't worry, just do what I told you. And as a compensation, you're going to get a long life. Uh, it's like humanly, like uh, according to human logic, it, it makes sense. But this mitzvah, like takes you exactly, I don't know, like I don't know sure how how high is the nest. Like you 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 climb there, you take the axe, you put it back. You usually put people put it back. Nobody take it with them usually, right? Uh, but but they did the mitzvah. Um, why is a long life? Does not like logically does not these two mitzvahs do not compare, but uh, but the reward is the same. Okay, continue. The purpose of understanding the mitzvah is not to comprehend what um, what is accomplished with the mitzvah, but rather the perceive the lesson to be drawn from the mitzvah. Oh. So from every mitzvah we can draw a lesson, but we uh, but um, there is a second part, a spiritual part. Then when a person uh, does a mitzvah, he creates or she creates an angel that is going to. Um, um, be uh, like uh, be as an um, um, advocate on on, on their behalf uh, behalf uh, when uh, when the time comes and uh, plus uh, they uh, they create something positive in 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 in, this, in, the, in the spiritual heavens. Okay, so these things that we learn. Okay, if you have time, but uh, that's not the, the the main thing that we learn about the mitzvah, right? Uh, one of the main things that we learn, what lesson do we learn from the mitzvah? Lesson. Hashem does not um, does not need us to care for his creatures. Okay, he has countless means uh, at his disposal. The purpose of the mitzvah of Shliuch Haken is that uh, we internalize the feelings of compassion. So it's uh, see Ramban, uh, Dvarim twenty two six, right? So he said, okay. Uh, do, okay, so he, he said, so this specific mitzvah is to teach us compassion. So of course you can you can take an ex and uh, you, you're not uh, obligated to ask uh, uh, per permission of this mother bird, but it's proper, like so, so the bird would not see it. 
Thus, when uh, we investigate uh, the reason behind any of the mitzvahs, it is, uh, it is not to explain the mitzvah, but to discover that we may draw from it and how it may inspire us. So we have to, from every mitzvah, and of course from eating kosher, we're going to, to, to explain that there are many mitzvahs that you can learn and how it's all connected with, uh, as we started this class, with the proper speech, right? And not, not to con contaminate this holy vessel, your mouth, with, with which you uh, speak the, the, Lord, uh, the words of the Torah, to not contaminate with, uh, with the not kosher food or forbidden food, uh, right? Okay. Then the center of this uh, of the rationale of the mitzvah elevates the performance from the mere physical act to the act that makes a spiritual significant impact on our lives. So I'm, I'm going to read again. It's uh, it's amazing line. Uh, then the center of the rationale of the mitzvahs elevates the performance of uh, from the mere physical act, like a mechanical act, right, uh, to the act that makes spiritual significance. Uh, impact on our lives. That's uh, that's the difference. When when you when you do do it like technical details, everything correctly, right? You say all the right words with the right pronunciation, right? Everything correctly, or you're doing it with a deep understanding what what exactly you're doing and uh, how it's going to affect uh, the, your life. Since any theory or uh, or explanation advanced as a rationale for a mitzvah, is mere uh, conjunction, one can never draw a halakhic conclusion from any interpretation of the mitzvah, even one, uh, even one presented by the early authorities. So, okay, so it's very interesting. Um, um, as, valid as, um, as valid as any interpretation may be, it certainly does not reflect uh, to complete uh, spectrum of the meaning of the mitzvah, just as the Torah itself is infinite, so to each of the mitzvahs, so to each uh, of, of its mitzvahs. Yet simultaneously, since we are enjoying uh, uh, enjoying to ponder on the meaning of the mitzvahs, any hypo hypothesis about the, their rationale, well, can congruent. Uh, with the knowledge of the principle of the Torah, of the Torah guidelines, is valid and enhance the effect of the mitzvah upon a man. So let's, uh, it's a very difficult paragraph, let's uh, read it one more time, and we're going to explain line by line. Okay, so it says here, since the theory of the, uh, since any theory of the, or explanation, advanced as a rationale for the mitzvah, is merely conjunction, one is never drawn the halachic conclusion from the interpretation of the mitzvah. So all of this, uh, all of these uh, things, like uh, as we said, even for for um, uh, showing the the mother bird ch chasing away the mother bird. Okay, the the explanation, uh, the the most famous explanation is the compassion, uh, right? But still, it's uh, it's only like one one aspect of the mitzvah. So we cannot derive like uh, like any 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 halachic uh, uh, we cannot uh, derive any halachic decisions how to do the mitzvah. So maybe it would be more more compassionate, com compassionate uh, if I'm going to do it this way. If the mitzvah is about compassion to the bird, is about mercy to the bird, maybe I should do it like this. No, right. So two things uh, going uh, separately. Uh, the technicality of the mitzvah is uh, explained in Shulchan Aruch. Right, and this uh, spiritual part is explained by other sages. Okay. Can just, uh, so one, one can never draw a lucky conclusion from any interpretation of the mitzvah, even one presented by uh, the by uh, early authorities. So I mean, we, we don't deny the early authorities, but we we just saying that those are two separate things. Okay. So meaning uh, the spiritual reasons and uh, the physical. So it, in the like uh, action part, um, as valid as any interpretation may be, it certainly does not reflect that complete spectrum of the meaning of the mitzvah. So, and many things like uh, uh, I give you, I give you this this example. If you, 
if you read the the commentary on the Torah, right, and you you can take di different commentaries. So if you if you look Rashi, so Rashi would would explain this uh, this verses like that, and uh, he he would ignore all others, all other other no, not all like like he he would explain the verse number three and explain let's say let's say skip. Uh, Verse number four and five, because in the in mind of the Rashi, it's understandable, like does not need any explanation. But Ramban, for example, he would go in verse number three and write three pages of the explanation, and the other sages would do do the same, or even on one verse they would give totally different understanding, totally opposite, op opposite explanation. So so just because we read one of the explanation or even all of them does not mean that uh, it's uh, it's it's a final and it's like uh, everything. Okay, so still it does not uh, provide the whole spectrum meaning of the mitzvah. Just as the Torah itself is infinite, so to each of the mitzvahs, right? So just Torah is infinite. Like for example, uh, me, me personally, I'm I'm trying to read every year different commentary commentary on the parsha, like a totally different uh, rabbis. And 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 you see how they explain it's unbelievable. It's, it has nothing to do with one another, like not even close. You understand? So that that's the, the explanation. The Torah is infinite, so you, you can read the same parasha like uh, I don't know a hundred years, and you still every year every every year every time you read you're going to get a new details. So too with any, every mitzvah. Yet simultaneously, since we are enjoying to ponder. Of the meaning of the mitzvahs, um, any hypothesis about the, the rationale congruent with uh, our uh, uh, known principle of the Torah guidelines is a valid and enhance the effect of the mitzvah upon man. So, but since, uh, uh, as we said, Ram Rambam explained to us, right, you, that, that you have to ponder on the, on the meaning of the mitzvah. So, all, all of these things that they help. The, the more you learn about the mitzvah. The, the the more you you fell in love uh, with it and it, like and the dearer it becomes to you for sure mm.